Once Mendel had completed this monumental study, the next big question for him was, well, what would happen if actually I had two traits varying in my cross instead of just one trait? Do they always go together? Do they flow through generations together? Or can they actually be independently inherited from one another. So he took a tall plant that has pink flowers and a short plant that has white flowers and he made the first generation hybrid. And even at this point, Mendel himself, I suspect, predicted what he would see in the first generation, which is the plants would be tall and they would have pink flowers because he'd already shown those were the dominant characters. But now the key became what happens in the next generation. So he self-fertilized these plants and then planted the seeds that resulted. He found that nine of them were the original parental phenotype of tall and pink. Three of them were the hybrid combination of tall and white, and three were the combination of short and pink and one was the original parental short and white, a nine to three to three to one ratio. And what that demonstrated to him is that tall and pink and white and short do not travel together inevitably, but in fact are behaving as though they are utterly independent of one another in these crosses. To Mendel, this was a very important second law of inheritance that he articulated for us.